was supposed to be. I didn't want to give in, bro. That I'm lost now. And but she was the helpmate, but helping me, and I didn't receive the help right away. But after a while, I said, I'm gonna go and try this. She, she keep telling me that play. I pulled in and and that was the right play. <laughs> Amen. Everybody, you want to come? Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. Bless you, Mother. Praise God. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Got another hand praise for our Sunday school teachers. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Take a good listen, and we can avoid a lot of yes. heartaches, a lot yes. of mistakes, a lot of a lot of uh, bad things. Amen. This uh, we thank God though, eternally grateful for associate pastor Dad and Mom Bryant. Amen. Yes, indeed, all of the jewels that they represent to us. Just precious, precious. We honor and appreciate you, Dad and Mom. Yes. We also honor and appreciate our precious mother Hunt. Amen. Yes, indeed, our faithful elder Hollis. Yes, yes. Our Sunday school teachers on post and all who participate, mm -hmm. we're always better yeah, together. Amen. Yes. Give special honor and appreciation to the pastor of this house, Missionary, yes, missionary Regina Tucker yes. and our Bishop Roy Tucker. Amen. Thank God for them and continue to keep our leaders in your sincere prayer. Yes, yes. yes. This part of our Sunday school lesson is when we go through the scriptures of the lesson. Have your Bibles handy. Uh, today's lesson is the creation of woman. Amen. The lesson text is Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 through 25. Now, as is our custom here at Mother Tucker Ministries, we're going to go back and recap last week's lesson in the spirit of diligence. Right? Amen. What was last week's lesson title? Alpha, Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Revelation 22, 6 through 10, 12 through 13, and 16. Now, I went off, I didn't bring last quarter's book, I forgot it, so I'm just going to go out of the Bible. But uh, last week's lesson uh, was called Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. um, it was a 22 and 22 and 6 is where it picked up. Mm -hmm. So we're just we're gonna start right there, and then we'll kind of elaborate. But it says uh, Revelation 22 and 6. I talked about how Revelation talk about what Revelation was. Mm -hmm. uh, Revelation 22 and, 22 and 6 says, He said unto me, now we, we, we talk about who was talking, that this was, y'all remember who was talking, who the he is? Angel. angel, good, yeah, it's the angel talking, right? Mm -hmm. We went through all that last week. Yes. So it said, He said unto me, these sayings are what? Faithful and true. Mm -hmm. He said, and the Lord God of who? The holy prophets. We talked about what the word holy was. It's the same word that's translated saints. And it's always referring to Israel. Nobody in the Bible was called holy. Uh, no, and nobody, you know. The word that's translated saints was the word agios, which, which means holy. Uh, so, so it said, the Lord God of the holy prophets, and, and, and you couldn't just call yourself holy. You had to do holy things. You had to do the, the holy law to be considered holy. There was no other way to be called holy. So anyway, so the Lord God of the holy prophets sent who? His angels to show unto who? His servants. His servants the things which what? 
must shortly be done. Mm -hmm. He said, Behold, I do what? Now, now he's saying the words of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, right? Yes. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that does what? Keep the sayings. Keep the sayings. Keep it the sayings of <coughs> prophecy of this book. He said, you're blessed if you keep the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Yes. And he's actually talking about Revelation, right? This, this book, this scroll that, that John is writing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Verse 8. John says, I did what? I, I, John said, I saw thee. I, John, saw these things and heard, heard. heard them. He said, and when I heard and seen, I did what? Fell down to worship. Fell down to worship who? The angel. The angel which showed me these things. Mm -hmm. But that angel spoke unto him, and that angel said, thank you. <laughs> no. No, he didn't say thank you. Mm -hmm. He said, see thou what? Do it not. Do it not. Or don't do that, right? Mm -hmm. Do not do that. That angel says, don't do that, for I am I am thy fellow, fellow servant and of thy brethren, brethren the prophets. prophets. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. He said, of them which do what? The sayings. Keep the sayings of this book. He said, I'm one of the ones who keep the sayings of this book. He said, worship who? God. Worship God. <laughs> hmm. Verse 10. And, and angels angels talking, he says, do what to the saints of, of the prophecy of this book? Seal, seal. seal not. Do, do not seal them. Right? Mm -hmm. For what? For the time is at hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now they skip verse 11, but we're going to read verse 11 because it, it gives continuity, it gives, it gives context to, yes. to everything he was saying, everything he's saying. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, so that angel can teach us the he said, do not seal the, he said, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book for the times at hand in verse 10. Verse 11, he goes on to say, he that is what? Unjust. Unjust, let him be unjust, unjust still. He that is what? Filthy. Filthy, let him be filthy, filthy still. Now, unjust is unrighteous, right? Yeah. The same as unrighteous. Mm -hmm. Filthy is 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 worse than unclean. It's, it's but but it's 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 a different right. Mm -hmm. You got unrighteous and you got unclean, mm -hmm. right? He goes on to say, he said he says he that is filthy let him be filthy still. Mm -hmm. He that is what righteous, righteous let him be righteous, righteous still. Yeah. And he that is holy, holy let him be holy, holy still. Yeah. Talked about how I did some research on the difference between righteous and holy, you know, because he said he that he said and he that is holy, mm -hmm. let him be holy still. Talk about how holy yeah. you can be. You cannot be holy without being righteous, but you can be righteous and not be holy. Yes, right. Holy is a God. You're set apart. Mm -hmm. You're set apart, right, for God's use. You know, yes. you are holy. That's a Hard to, it's really kind of hard to define that word, but you're holy, right? We're going to keep on reading. Verse 12. He says, And behold, I do what? Come I come quickly. And he said, And, and what is with me? My reward. My reward. My, my recompense, right? My, my compensation. That mm -hmm. word reward, is the Greek word, it means compensation, right? Yes. I'm, I'm, my reward is with me. This reward or compensation is to do what? It's to give to every, every man what? According, according as his words be. Word. 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 Mm -hmm. According as he believed. Word. Word. Mm -hmm. He said, my reward is with me to give every man according as his work yes. shall be. Mm -hmm. I was speaking last week. I was talking about this is actually a judgment. This is actually this is actually a judgment. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 the, and every, anytime you judge something, it has to be according to a law. Mm -hmm. 
a standard, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And when you go in court, you're being judged by the laws. Mm -hmm. I was explaining how an electrician, when we do inspections, it's, it's, it's according to a code, which is a law, yes, right? Yes. You can't inspect something without a standard. Yes, right. You can't judge that's something right. without a standard. Right. That's right, that's right. Amen. So if you're judging something, it has to be according yes. to a standard. Yes, yes. 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 Good. So yes. when you talk about judging, it's got to be, God is a righteous God, yes. right? Yes. So it's going, he's going to judge you according to something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So he said, my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So God already has it lined out what your work shall be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is, this is for people who are uh, 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 already covered. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you can't work your way into salvation. Amen. Yes, sir. But Amen. We are saved to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. Okay, that's good. I, I love it. I love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so verse 12, it goes on to say, you going to say something? No, no. Verse 13 says, I am what? Alpha. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I was making the plane last week that, first of all, Alpha and Omega is Greek, and, and like I was saying, and I still, I, I don't, I just don't believe, and scholars agree that, that Jesus Yeshua is speaking from heaven. He's not on earth, but when he was earth, he, this is Greek. And I, it's just hard for me to conceive, and they agree that he probably wasn't speaking Greek. He's, he's, he's not going, I can't see my God in heaven speaking a pagan language to a Hebrew, mm -hmm. talking to John, right? It just, it don't, it don't, it don't add up. Mm -hmm. So they were saying he probably said uh, the Hebrew equivalent to Alpha and Omega, which would have been I left, and I left, which is the first, and then I think Teb. TTW is the last. Um, anyway, nevertheless, but 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 this is written in Greek, so that's what they said. But that wasn't what he said. Uh -huh. Amen. And he said the beginning and the end, the first and the last. That's uh, Isaiah forty-one and four, mm -hmm. where he was he was uh, quoting that. I am Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. I am the beginning and I am the end, right? Mm -hmm. Our minds can't even conceive, their mind can't. I can't even conceive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the, you know, you are the, you know, I just take God at his word, but I can't conceive that, yes. right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and read 14 and 15, because he's still talking. And I believe, even though this is not read, I believe this is Yeshua still talking. Yes, it is. He said, I believe it too, mother. He, he said, blessed are they that what? Do his commandments. Mm -hmm. That do his commandments. Yes. He said you're blessed. Yes. He said you're blessed if you do his God's commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Woo. Amen. He said that they may do what? Yeah, right. Right. Have a right to the tree of life. There's a prerequisite to having a right to the tree of life. Yes. Even if you're under the blood, there's still a prerequisite. You got, we have, we are, God saved us to be a light, yes. right? Yes. To do some things, mm -hmm. right? We are not saved just, you know, mm -hmm. woo! Yes. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. We are Thank saved you. to be a blessing and there are there are yeah. there's a standard to what that looks like. We can't determine what that looks like, right? God says what that looks like. Yeah. He said, Blessed are they that do his commandments. You know, I'm work we're all working on that, right? Mm -hmm. That do his commandments that they might have, that they may have right to the tree of life. Mm -hmm. And may do what? Enter, 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 enter in how? Through the, through the gates. Not in through not not sneaking in through the gates into the city. Now verse 15 says, For without or what? 
Um, no. Dogs or outside, outside the city, right? Outside the gates are dogs. Dogs would have been like Gentiles, or not, you know, not just Gentiles. Anybody who wasn't who, who wasn't holy were considered dogs, right? It wasn't a, it wasn't really a, it wasn't really a slander. It was just they just anybody who wasn't holy. The law made you the, the, the holy laws would made you holy. The, the the temple was holy because God made it holy. Right, mm -hmm. the people was holy because God made them holy. But when they did certain things, you did certain things in the temple that made the temple holy. Then you did certain things on a day that made the day holy. Mm -hmm. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, but 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 the the dogs would have been people who did who weren't holy. That they, they were what they what they, they were the translated dog I mean. Uh, morally impure people is really what that meant, right? Because mm -hmm. the law was the only thing that gave you morals. It, it was a, there was nothing else. Amen. So, 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 so without, so outside the gate, outside the tree of life, right? Mm -hmm. Outside the city were the dogs, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be with them. Amen. And who else? Sorcerers, Sorcerers and. Oh Whoremongers and murderers, murderers and idolaters. idolaters and who else? And whosoever loveth and, and maketh a lie. Mm -hmm. or, or in other words, people who love to deceive. Yes. <laughs> Get a kick out of deceiving, right? Yes. Because that's, that's really what a lie is, is deception. Mm -hmm. yes. A lie is deception. That's the difference between uh, say, just saying something that's not true and telling a lie. Amen. Amen. Like I say, you know, so if somebody, if, if I told you guys it was raining outside, y'all know it's not raining out there, mm -hmm. but I could have had some bad information, right? Amen. Somebody could say, why is it raining outside? So I'm just repeating what somebody said. Mm -hmm. You go outside, you see the sun is up, it ain't raining. Well, I just, I had some bad information. I made a mistake. Right, right. But if I told you it was raining outside because I got all these umbrellas I'm trying to sell you. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. That is evil because yeah. it is deception. deception. Now, that's a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's a difference between saying something that's not true and telling a lie. Mm -hmm. The evil is the deception. Yes, yes. So just because somebody says something that's not true, you don't have to you lying, well <laughs> you know, it's just it's kind of different. Okay, so, so we're gonna go ahead and write, so verse 16. So it says, so with outside of dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers outside of the city, right? Yes. Uh, idolaters and whosoever met loveth and make it allow, people who love to deceive. Mm -hmm. All those people are outside of the tree of life, outside of the city. Mm -hmm. A heavenly city outside of the gates. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. He said, For I who? Jesus. Jesus is sure sent who? My angel. angel to testify unto you the thing, these things where? In the churches. In the churches. In the churches. He said, I am the what? Root. Root of offspring. offspring root and offspring of David. Right? I'm a descendant of David. Yeah. That, that was a requirement for the Messiah to be a descendant yeah. of David. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He said, and the what? Right. Right. Bright and morning star. Mm -hmm. This is who was talking to you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Verse 17. Verse 17 says, and the Spirit. Spirit and the bride, bride say what? Come now we now, now we talked about who the bride was. Who was the bride? Church. Remember? Church. Church. Who 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 did we? Who, I, I showed I showed you guys who the bride was in uh, Revelations twenty one and nine. It says we we talked about this last week. It says, this angel started talking to them. I started talking to John. He says, and there came unto me one of the seven angels. Revelation 21 and 9. Which had the seven oh, vials <laughs> of the seven last plagues. And talked with me saying, come hither, I will show thee the bride. The lamb's yes. wife, right? Yes. 
And then, he, 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 for the sake of time, skip on down to verse 12. Verse 12, he says, showing them, he's showing them a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. He's showing them this heavenly city. Verse 12, he says, and, and had, this city had a great wall, high, and had 12 gates. And at the 12 gates were names written therein, which were the names of who? The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. This was the bride. Right? This is the bride, yes. right? Twelve tribes. Who were the church? Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. That was the church, right? Amen. 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 But 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 just to put it in context, it was the Israel. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 So it said the surprise. So back to back to our lesson. Mm -hmm. So verse 17, 22 and seventeen says, and the spirit and the bride say, Come. Come. Mm -hmm. Let him that what hear it say what come. come. Mm -hmm. Let him that is what a thirst, a thirst, and let him a thirst. Oh, that's right. Let, let, <laughs> let him that is a thirst come. We talked about being thirsty, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Bible Jesus Yeshua said, "Blessed is he, blessed is he that hunger and thirst after righteousness." Right? He said, He shall be filled. That's a promise. That's a promise, right? Amen. He didn't say, Blessed he that is filled, though. <laughs> he did not say, Blessed he that is filled. No. He said, Blessed, you said you're blessed when you're hungry Amen. and thirsty after Amen. righteousness. Yes. There is a blessing in being hungry and thirsty. Because yes. he did not say you're blessed when you feel. Amen. He just didn't say it. So right here, right here he said, uh, let him that is a thirst mm -hmm. come. Right? Verse 17. In the end of verse 17 it says, and whosoever will let him do what? Take, Take the water, water of life. life. Take the water of life. How? Freely. Freely. This quenches that thirst, right? The water of life, right? He, verse 18, For I testify unto every man that heareth the what? Words. Words of the prophecy of this book. He says, If any man shall what? Add unto these things. What is God going to do? Add to him what? The plagues that are written in this book. Like I said, that's why I, I'm constantly researching and trying to make sure to the best of my ability that what I'm saying is context, is what the Bible is actually saying, right? Verse 19 says, and if any man shall do what? Take away. Take away. Take away. If any man shall take away from what? The words. The words, the understanding of this Book. prophecy, right? Yeah. God shall do what? Take away. Take away his part out of what? Book. We don't want that. We do not want to be, our part to be taken out of the book of life. And out of the holy city. And from what? Things which are written in this book. Verse 20. He which testifies these things says do what? Surely I come when? Quick. Amen. Even so, come, come Lord, Lord, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Last verse of the Bible says, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, let's come on to today's lesson, the creation of woman. We're going to go through it right quick. Uh, this is Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 through 25. Went from the last book of the book. But last book of the Bible to the first book, right? Yeah. <laughs> From the end to the beginning. Yeah. All right, so I have written down, our lesson picks up in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a quote, in the day that the Lord, Jehovah, made the earth and heaven. This is Genesis 2 and 4. Um, Genesis 2 and 4, I don't have time to... I, don't, I was going to expound on that, but I was just going to just make it clear that Genesis 2 and 4 is actually saying, where, where our lesson is picking up is that they're in the garden, right? Yes. They're in the garden. Uh, <clears throat> Genesis 1 and 27 is where, well, 126, God said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. 
127 said that God created man in his image. Mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. God blessed them, said be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth. Then in chapter 2, he goes on to say, and the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. A lot of people think that there was two creations. Mm -hmm. But what I was the point I was making with Genesis 2 and 4 says, these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth. Mm -hmm. And just in a nutshell, I'm just going to say, there are different times in the Bible mm -hmm. <laughs> where they use the word generation. These are the generations of the heaven and earth. In other words, this is, so God is basically saying, he, he, just, he just got through explaining the seven days. Yeah. Right? First day, God made everything, he rested on the seventh day. The first part of chapter two says God rested on the seventh day, he made it holy. Then he started, then he said, now we're gonna start talking about the generation. He's breaking down what happened in the day mm -hmm. that God created. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created uh, in the day that God made the heavens and the earth and the heavens. So he's breaking, he's breaking down when God basically made man in the garden. He's breaking all that down when God created man in chapter one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so this, but, but this is in the garden, right? Yeah. It says God created, God formed man of the dust of ground. Then verse eight says, chapter two, verse eight, and the Lord God planted a garden in Eden and he put the man, so God created man outside the garden. He created man outside the garden and put him yes. in the garden yes. to work it, yes. to till it. Mm -hmm. But he created woman in the garden. That was just interesting. Yes. Right? All right. So, so let's go, go on down to verse 18. We don't have much time. But uh, so, so this is in the garden, right? Mm -hmm. so, so God created man, right? He created man, and, and man named the animals and all this stuff, right? Yes. Verse 18 in our lesson says, who spoke? The Lord. The Lord God, Jehovah, right? Anytime you see the word Lord in all caps, it's, it's really Jehovah. It said, it, it is not good that a man should what? Be alone. Be alone. Mm -hmm. It said, it's not good, right? Not good. He said, I will do what? Make him. Make him and help, help me for him. Yes. And they were talking about how this word help me in the book. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was it, 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 the help me really kind of gives a doesn't give it a a, a, a good uh, it really doesn't wrap that thought the best in this English language because it wasn't like uh, it was more of a, like mother was saying it was more of an equal type of a thing right it, it wasn't just a helper in the sense that mm -hmm. she's just subordinate that type of thing right mm -hmm. they, they really broke that down well in, in the book. So he says, God says, and I will make him and help me help for him, me. Yes. right? Mm -hmm. Verse 19. <clears throat> Verse 19 says, um, and out of the ground the Lord God did what? Formed oh, every beast of the field, mm -hmm. every oh. fowl of the air, mm -hmm. and brought them to who? Yeah. Adam to do what? Yeah. Name him or see what he would call him. And Adam named him, right? Well, whatever he said, that's that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty. So Adam named all of the cattle, mm -hmm. um, all of he named everything. But the end of that verse says, he said, "But for Adam, there was not found in what yeah. help me for him, right?" So he said, like Dad was alluding to, you know, God brought all these animals to him, and the book even said they probably came in pairs, mm -hmm. male and female. Well, but Adam was by himself, right? So it says, for Adam there was not found and help me for him. Everybody else had, you know, yes. up there. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. So God caused a what to come on Adam? Deep a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Mm -hmm. He slept, and God took one of what? Ribs. One of his ribs and closed up to flesh. Yeah. flesh thereof. They said in the book, the word that's translated ribs is not really the bone of a rib. It's really speaking of more or less he took him out of the, took her out of the side. side yes. It's really kind of what they were saying. It wasn't really just, you know, they use the word rib, uh, but it wasn't really like a bone. It was just kind of saying it took her, took her out of his side. Mm -hmm. 
Nevertheless, and the rib, I tried the rib, and the rib which Lord God had taken from man, what did he make? A warm, a warm man. Yeah. Now, and, 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 and what, what did God do? Water to the man. This word warm man, uh, well, we're going to keep on going. Adam said, this is now what? Bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman man because she was taken out of man. Now, woman man is English. Right? He didn't speak English. So he wouldn't have said woman man. And I know we, a lot of people say, but I'm just saying this is the, he, he didn't say woman man because that's English. That's English. Uh, the the Hebrew word was ishash, ishash, right? That's one man, and and uh, the that's one man, and is it it is a it is a spinoff from the uh, ish, which is man. Okay, yes. right. Mm-hmm. So it's ishash, right? So that's more than likely what he would have actually said. He wouldn't have said one man. You hear a lot of things, you know, it's wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, that's all good. I mean, you know, but I'm just saying that that's that's not what he said, right? Okay, so now, nevertheless, so she shall be called woman. man. And another, another this word Ishash is also translated white. So the woman was Wife. I mean, it was just it wasn't just a woman. It was a wife. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 We're gonna keep on going. So Adam said, "This is now born of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called one man or wife, mm-hmm. because she was taken out of man. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, verse twenty-four shall shall a man stay with his father and mother." Mm-hmm. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall do what? Cleave, Cleave unto his, his wife. wife. Mm-hmm. Which was the same word, woman. Yes. Ishash. Yes. It wasn't just a woman. It wasn't, it wasn't just a the, the, the lady was his wife. Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's who she was. She was a wife. Right, he would have been a husband, a protector of the wife, a, a, a nurturer, a provider. Yes. Right, loving this wife, yes. this woman, this Isha. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Verse twenty-five. This is one of the. This is one of the most profound scriptures. It says, "And they, the, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm keeping verse twenty, verse twenty-four." Uh, leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they shall be what? One flesh. No more two but one, right? No more two but one. No more two is not about me being happy. Not about me being happy. If I'm married, it's not just about me being happy. It's about the house being Healthy, yeah, being yeah. blessed, right? Yeah. The house. Yeah, that's the that's that's the toughest part, right? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. not about me no more. It's about, no. It's about us, uh, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Boy, I'm telling you, man, it's not about it's not about one person being happy. No, it doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't. And nothing, and nothing wrong with wanting to be happy. I just don't get it. It's not about me. It's no more me. There's no more me because we are one now. Yes. Yes. We are one. Right. We're one flesh. Amen. So there's no more me being. You know, it's, it, that that mentality is a is a. Recipe for disaster. Mm-hmm. Am I right, Mom and Dad? Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. That's and the then you're clean, stuck. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you, that word stuck. You can't go this way, and I and I go that way. Mm-hmm. You stuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just what it is. That's what it is. Grandma used to say. She would talk about you know she did all this counseling. And she talked about women 
fussing about their husband. He's talking about, he, I remember her specifically saying, y'all may remember her saying this. She was like, talk, some, some woman, she, he, he just crazy. He just crazy, right? <laughs> she said, well, that's your crazy husband. <laughs> 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 that's just your crazy husband, you know? And that's just, you know. So, but we are one, they shall be one flesh. And we're going to get on to verse 25. Verse 25, the last verse of our lesson says, and they were both what? <laughs> Naked, the man and his wife or woman, yeah. and they were not <laughs> ashamed. Woo. And and this right here jumps off, jumped off the, the page at me, because as we know later on, after they ate of the forbidden fruit, yes. they said, we ate the fruit and we know we we knew we were naked. Mm -hmm. God says what? Who told, Who told you you were naked? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now they were ashamed because they had covered when they were saying this God, they had made them fig leaves and covered themselves up because they were ashamed. Mm -hmm. Yes. God says, who told you tell on yourself? They ain't really tell on yourself. They ain't tell on yourself, right? When they said that they were that they were naked, right? You ain't who who told you? How you know you're naked? Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. hey, it was an innocence wow. there, right? Wow. Wow. A beautiful innocence. Right. Yes. Wow. Glory to God. This is what God is trying to get us back to, right? right. So yeah. this, this is the good thing. Yeah, so as they said, they were both naked and were not ashamed. Woo! Naked and not ashamed, Sister Tasha. Man, that's, that's, some, that's something to chew on. That's something to chew on. Naked and not ashamed. Mm -hmm. Ah, my God. Amen. The creation of one. Mom, Dad, you guys have any closing thoughts? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, go ahead. When I got out of service, I looked in the lights and sun up and came out here. Every time my mom would call, she'd always say something bad about my wife. And I asked her why. She was Mexican. We were raised around Mexican. Mom, you cannot accept my wife. Don't call me no more. Two weeks later, she called, wanted to talk to my wife, and apologized to her. And they became some of the best friends that ever was. I used to have to say to people, I don't care who you think she is, that's my wife. You will respect her. You will. We'll go outside, and I can guarantee you I'll come back. I never have to say it again. Amen. 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 Because you were one, right? Yes. You're one. You're, you're one. I mean, it's just, you know, we, 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 we have to do it. And, and then we were talking in the book about how uh, even when children come along, how complicated it gets because sometimes one person, one part, one party can put the children above the spouse. Yes. But that spouse has to always be first. Yeah. Has to always be Make first. That's, uh, that's, that's just the reality of it because you're one, right? Yes. You're, you're one. Yeah. You know, like, you're one. You're one. So, so they got to be first. And, and they. That's a we don't have time to elaborate, but that's that's just a beautiful thing. So yeah, brother Mike, you got you know, it's, there's no other way to do that, you know, without there's no me without her. There's no her without me. Amen. Last time I had to say that I broke my hand when I hit the wall. Mm. But my son in law never disrespected you after that. Yes. It's got to be clear, you know, and, and there are boundaries that have to be set. A lot of times people and that's that's one thing about relationships. A uh, uh, healthy relationships has healthy boundaries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that's just what I see. It's just some boundaries have to be set. If people can't see those boundaries, they just walk all over. Sometimes you gotta make sometimes you guys gotta make the boundaries clear. Amen. For a healthy relationship. Amen. Right? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father God. We thank you for what you're doing by your Spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for your Word. Whew. God, we thank you. We thank you for the creation of woman, the beautiful, beautiful, the beautiful uh, jewel that you put amongst us, the life giver, as the word means, as, as, as the name Eve means, Hana, Ha'ava, right? The life giver. God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit and our lives for your glory. God, we're constantly praying for the sick and the shut in. We thank you for what you're doing in the bodies of your people. By Jesus, your sure stripes will be part of you. 
God, we thank you for your word going through the bodies of your people. Yes. Healing people through your word. God, we thank you. Yes. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our life. Father, we thank you for the word that's coming forth. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit. By your spirit for your glory in our lives. God, we'll thank you forever. In Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Right here we're going to get our Sunday school offering.